Hey there, it's Boots Own here. This is my Oxford Allen scythe. I've been using it for five or six years, maybe even eight years now, and I think it's a great machine altogether. But recently, I fitted this accessory, I suppose you'd call it, to the front. This is the universal foot, and it features in the catalog that came describing all the various implements you can get. And that's on a website called vintagemachinery.org. If you search for Allen scythe universal foot, you'll find a picture of this in the manual in the in that catalog it comes up as one of the first results on the internet i fitted it because it has a number of features one is it allows you to tilt the blade down or up uh, this is up for rough cutting and you can tilt it down a bit i think for finer cutting it also allows a bit of uh, conformity i suppose you'd call it to the ground the blade will tilt what's that about five inches each way up and down. Oh, that's a loose, there's a loose tooth there, we'll have to see to that. It tilts about five inches up and down uh, to conform to the ground, you know, separately from the wheels. It has a different bar that comes with it. This rocker bar, or I don't know what you'd call it, the drive bar. And because it's, what would that be? Well, here's the original. If the original is there, it's a good four or five inches longer, I would say. Possibly even six inches longer, that drive bar. And that means that at this end, it goes a bit further each way, left and right. Up to, I think it's something like an inch and a half of extra travel, which in theory means you can cut that bit more grass, or it cuts a bit faster or something like that. Having used it for an hour yesterday, the issue I've found is that it vibrates like crazy because you're putting so much extra travel in at the bottom up at the hand it vibrates away and I'll cut in a bit of footage here and it might show it or it might not but I'm not going to try using it again because my right hand especially it was just going everywhere and in reality I only used my right hand for steering it at one point because it was getting so tired just after an hour's work whereas with the old style I found it really easy to use and it wasn't a big deal at all. So to get this off I have to take off these two bolts here and three on the back and then just put those three back on this plate here and set the rest aside and uh, of course swap off this guy here. So I'll get cracking. quite windy outside today. This is the blade I've just taken off. I've got some other blades here and maybe this will be clearer in a moment. This is the one that I was using and you can see this thing here is much lower than this thing here. I'll compare them side by side. Let's get this blade apart then. It's going to be fun with a... maybe I've got a spanner for it. Nope. get the leverage but I can't hold the bloody stick. <laughs> there we go, that's one. This one down here.
go. I'm not sure that they need to be that tight, but they are. So now, on closer inspection, two of the teeth have become loose. So I'll just tighten them up, I think. There's not much more to do, really. Not sure why they became loose. I'll try and set them so that they're in line with what was there before, because there's a, the, to each individual tooth makes up the slot that the blade rides in. them seem quite tight like I've never had them loose so it's been a bit chewed up this one let's get it like they're painted on on so long right so let's compare this one with the one i'm going to put back on it which is my old one i think it is i can tell you now yes this one's been used so put this one on it you can just see that is it just a different unit one's bigger than the other even in the shade there you go and that's because it's uh, further away and sits up higher. Just has a slightly different boss on it there. In fact, I have a blade which I think is almost new that I've cleaned up. I'm going to put it on and see how it goes. And before I do that, let's put on a bit of oil. Standard motor oil with a paintbrush. And this is not really as a lubricant because this comes off as soon as you cut grass with it. This is as a rust preventative for now, in case I don't use it straight away. That's already been painted with oil. Slide that in. Should have a bit of spring up like that slides quite freely so
get this boss back on. Just remove that to line up. There we go. A couple of these. Just for comparison, that comes out quite a long way further there, you can see again down the bottom. And just for a final wrap up, this is the, the foot. It weighs five kilos if it weighs anything. It flexes like that. And there's the adjustment. See if you, if you loosen all of them and then tighten up this one, it'll kick it'll kick the foot downwards and it's at the moment it's adjusted as max maximum upwards there you go quite an unusual accessory really for an Allen scythe questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later